Let's face it, I'm sure you're watching this video because maybe you freeze and get stuck on a word problem or are confused by financial questions and wondering, how do I study for financial concepts that may show up on the ARE 5.0 practice management exam? If financial questions are problematic for you, comment below as to why and share with others if you've come up with strategies that work. If you still need answers, you're in the right place. This is part two of a video series focused on test-taking strategies and how to study and prepare for specifically financial questions on the practice management exam. This video will apply three important tips covered in part one video. I highly recommend you watch the first video. You can find the link in the description below. And if you're new to the channel, then welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's jump right in. Let's discuss the overhead rate and break even rate and how this type of financial concept may show up on the exam, whether standalone or embedded into a case study problem. Number one, an architecture firm is generating $6,500,000 in gross revenue annually. The accountant has calculated that utilities, rent, maintenance, marketing, and HR salaries are $2,500,000 annually. Salaries and expenses for technical staff are $1,650,000. What is the firm's overhead rate? Round to the nearest hundredth. Here's our tip number four, which builds on the three tips from video one. Underline, highlight, or cross out words. In other words, interact with the problem. Getting into this habit is an especially excellent strategy for preparing to take the exam online. Now to solve the problem. Step one, identify what the question is asking you to find. The problem asks for the overhead rate to the nearest hundredth. Let's underline that in the problem. Also, write down what the overhead rate formula is, which is the ratio of total indirect expense divided by total direct labor. Also in this step, identify the givens and underline or highlight them in the question. Gross revenue is 6,500,000. Total indirect expense is 2,500,000. Employee salary and expense. This is something that we must know and have prior knowledge ahead of time, which gives us the clue that this is really our total direct labor in this problem. To fill in the OHR formula, which of the givens are extra information? Well, we know the gross revenue is an extra variable, so we'll cross that out. Step two, let's plug in the variables we know into the equation or formula. Total indirect is 2,500,000, and total indirect labor is $1,650,000. That ratio is 1.20, rounded to the nearest hundredth. Don't forget to provide your answer to the correct decimal places if this is specified. To be able to solve this question, you needed to have prior knowledge of the overhead rate formula, understood the definition of indirect expense, and also direct labor. As a heads up, this type of question may show up in a longer case study problem, but practicing the concepts like OHR on their own in all the different forms it may be asked will indeed position you for success for the larger, wordier problems that have multiple questions, like the case study problems. Another way the overhead rate problem may show up is in the following question. Number two. An architecture firm has an overhead rate of 1.4. Find the firm's break-even rate. This brings us to our next tip. Learn and apply the formulas with the units correctly. The formulas are not provided on these types of exam questions. So study the formulas well. For an in-depth review of overhead, I recommend watching the overhead rate and break-even rate video. You can find the link in the description below. Now let's solve the problem. Step one, what are we trying to find? Let's write that. Find break-even rate, which is given as a unitless number. And let's identify the givens. We have an overhead rate of 1.4, so we can underline that in the problem. Also underline break-even rate, since that's given. 
Now let's write the formula for break-even rate, which is the overhead rate plus one. So in step two, we'll plug in the variables into the formula. Break-even rate equals 1.4 plus one, which equals 2.4. That was rather straightforward. And from what we know, break-even rate should be in the target range of 2.3 to 2.5. So that is a healthy break-even rate. Here's our final example. An architecture firm's total direct labor amounts to $850,000. The overhead rate for the firm is 1.3. Provide the firm's overhead in dollars. Let's apply all the tips we've learned so far from both videos. Step one, what are we trying to find? Find the overhead in dollars. Identify the givens. We have direct labor, which is given $850,000. Overhead rate is also given as 1.3. And the formula, direct labor in dollars multiplied by the overhead rate, which is unitless, equals the overhead rate in dollars. As we know, a unitless number multiplied by dollars will just give you dollars. So step two, we'll plug in the variables. $850,000 multiplied by 1.3 equals $1,105,000. In summary, We've looked at the different ways overhead rate may be presented on the exam and implied two tips for these types of financial problems. Don't forget to interact with the problem by highlighting, underlining, or crossing out words to practice the same scenario for test taking on the actual exam. And second, learn and apply the financial formulas with the units correctly. Comment below if you have questions about this or related topics. Please don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the thumbs up. See you in the next video.